Well, you may have heard there was a big economic development project announced in central Arkansas earlier this week. It is $400 million of investment, 500 new jobs, and a campus at the Little Rock Port Authority for Trex Company. Here to talk to me about uh, the details of that deal is Mike Preston, Arkansas's Secretary of Commerce. Secretary Preston, uh, congratulations, number one. And uh, this is a big feather in the cap for Arkansas. It really is, Roby. They're a, a great company. And this has been a, so been a long project to work, but it's been a fun project. And, and sometimes you just make a connection with a company uh, when you're doing economic development. And Trex was like that. We could just tell that they, they fit the, the community in Little Rock and really the state of Arkansas, what they were trying to get accomplished. And they're a fast growing company. They really need this to serve their customers. They, they currently have about a three year backlog on their products uh, to their suppliers. So um, they have a, a facility on the East Coast and West Coast, and they really needed something in the heart of the country. Uh, we beat out several other states that really wanted this pretty bad, but uh, we're glad to have them um, in Arkansas and have Trex call Arkansas home now. Why do you think Arkansas won? And I asked that question in the context of whatever your answer is, I'm going to suggest that that should be the winning formula for everything you compete on. You win some, you lose some. Why did you win this one? You know, it was a product of many things coming together at the right time. Uh, we had a really good site there at the Little Rock Port. Uh, that certainly helps. Um, our proximity to really the rest of the country that they're looking to in the market that they're serving. Uh, so kind of the heart of the country uh, certainly helped. That's kind of where they were focusing their search. But uh, there's obviously a, a big swath around this that we really wanted this project as well. Um, but something that the company said to us the other night as we were talking about it, and they could share a little bit more now that they've announced, uh, and they said that they really liked how we all work together. Uh, you know, when they we first brought them in as a, as a company and there was just a project name, we didn't know who they were, uh, but they saw how the economic development team really worked very well with the local uh, community and how the governor and the mayor were on the same page. Even though there might be uh, different, different political affiliations, when it came to jobs and trying to get this project done, everyone came together and said, we'll move mountains to make this happen because we want this project here uh, in Little Rock and, and in Arkansas. So that meant a lot to the company to see us, you know, really bend over backwards to make something happen. There was good sites in other states and there was obviously incentives offered in other states. In the end, it was about that personality and that connection that we had with this company. Uh, just, I should have asked you this right off the top, but just for people who may not have read all of the details of the project, to give me just the Cliff's Notes version of um, Trex Company, what they're bringing to Little Rock. Yeah, sure. So they're a, a they're a growing company, Fortune 500 company uh, that makes composite decking material. So they're the leader in, in building decks and rails, and they use a lot of recycled material. So recyc recycled plastic bags and plastic bottles go into it, but also they use you know raw materials, so lumber. Uh, so obviously being cl close to the source in a state like Arkansas that has a significant timber basket, uh, that helped in their decision driving as well. So they make. You know, you've probably seen them before in Lowe's and Home Depot, or if you uh, built a deck recently, you might have used their material. Uh, they make the Adirondack chairs as well that you see at the beach that are so durable against the, uh, the harsh elements. It stands up better than just about any other product out there on the market. So a great company growing. Uh, and as you said at the beginning, they're going to um, create a, a, a production facility. So we'll be manufacturing jobs here, over 500 jobs, a $400 million investment great wages. It comes to a, you know, about $38 million in annual payroll uh, that we'll be adding into Pulaski County each year, thanks to this company. So I always get you on the show. I always get to ask my final question is what else is in the pipeline? I know you're not going to tell me details. I know you're going to tell me that things are cooking, but um, are we on the verge of some other major announcements? We are. Uh, there's a lot in the hopper. Um, I know our team always stays very busy, but at this particular time, uh, it's unlike anything we've seen. I think people had, you know, kind of had to sit out for 2020 because of COVID. Uh, now a lot of companies are flush with cash and, and the demand is so high. We've seen the supply chain issues. People are saying, you know what, enough's enough. Uh, we're going to start manufacturing again. Uh, we're going to start building things. Um, we're ready to go and we got a lot in the hopper. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of hard work again by our teams and our local partners coming together to make some of these projects happen. Uh, but I'm very confident in guess getting some of these projects across the finish line, just like we did this week with Trex. You mentioned the supply chain issues that we're seeing, which are global in nature. Uh, mm -hmm. There was also a lot of talk too, back during the pandemic in 2020 of, we need to do more things on American soil so that we're not dependent on the, the shipping and the, 
potential for other countries to be shut down. Are we proactively trying to do some things in that space? Or are you just waiting for the RFPs to come to see if Arkansas can compete? You know, it's a little bit of, of both, Roby. We're waiting on the RFPs to come just because they're, they're coming in almost every day at this point. But we are reaching out to companies that we know, some existing ones in our state, to see what we can help them with in terms of their supply chain or their companies that, you know, they, they've been, you know, um, ordering from from overseas is there an opportunity there so we're doing proactive reach out you know it really comes down to a company's decision though while we while we can encourage them and ask them to hey move your manufacturing back here to the U.S. and and leave other parts of the world it has to make financial sense for that company so um, while there's some that we're seeing you know some are still saying you know what despite the uh, supply chain uh, hiccups right now uh, it's still most advantageous for us to continue the, the process that we've had, but uh, we'll continue to, to push and any company that will listen to us and, you know, hear our sales pitch, we'll go out and make that pitch to them. So um, while the RFPs are strong and coming in, we're also looking around that supply chain where we know there's disruption. Aside from that, you know, the, the port of Long Beach is, is held up. Well, we've got great ports on the Eastern seaboard and all they got to do is put those ships to the Panama Canal and they can unload in New Orleans and, ship it up the Mississippi to Arkansas River and we can get products in or they can go to, you know, one of the ports on, on the Florida coast or somewhere around there. And we're re ready and willing to take those products in right now. All right, Arkansas's Secretary of Commerce, Mike Preston, appreciate you uh, being with us. And let me know when the next uh, big announcement comes, especially if it means I have to travel to maybe another area of the state even so. Uh, hold tight and we'll have that happen soon, hopefully. All right, thank you for being with us. Thanks, Roby.